Okay, we're going to run some stick rods with this Invertig 400 ACDC. Um, this thing does have a really high duty cycle, uh, whether it be on single phase or three phase. Uh, we can run all of our general F1, 2, 3, and 4 stick rods. So anything with a 2 in there, your 24s, your 13s, 12s, 14s, which are part of your F2 group, 60 10s and 11s. Uh, without any uh, issues of the arc going out, and then your F4 rides like a 7018, which is quite common in the field. Uh, you can run DC positive, which is a majority of your stick welding. You can run DC negative, and you can even run AC if you needed to. What's crazy about this machine is on AC, you can actually adjust your frequency. So you can turn it down or up. You can also pulse your stick welding with this machine, uh, which we will we'll show you here shortly. Uh, but this is an all around fantastic stick welding. <laughs>
So here we were running the E6010, which is an F3 rod, deep penetrating, uh, great for root passes or first passes if we were gonna run maybe 7018s over this. Um, it'll cut through just about anything out there, oil, grease, paint. Uh, you can run these as a straight stringer pass, you know, whether you want to just drag it straight across and go slow, or you can do the whip pause <coughs> manipulation where you can kind of stack it. Uh, and that's what I did here where I was going forward and back. I was using Nathan's rod, and on the Invertig 400, I set it to uh, about 90 amps, and it was really smooth. Uh, the puddle was really defined. You know, I don't have much spatter out, outside the, the weld area. It cleaned up really well uh, using their 6010s as well. Uh, overall, really happy with the stick welding capabilities of this machine. It's got pulse, it's got um, AC capabilities. You can change the frequency. Uh, you can do pretty much anything with stick on this machine. Um, these were all done in horizontal. Uh, although flat, vertical, and overhead, uh, I'm sure it would, uh, would work just as well.